Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Skyrim. My name's Camel, and today I have a very special video for you. The first video in a series called Skyrim Unobtainable Items. And this video is going to be Skyrim's unobtainable clothing slash apparel and jewellery. Now, an unobtainable item is an item that is found in-game, but you, the player, literally cannot obtain it without console commands, of course. Or an item that isn't even found in-game. It is in Skyrim's Matrix. It's in the item coding lists, yet it is not even seen in the game. Not only can you not get it, but it's not even found in game. So I would imagine for a lot of you, some of these items will be a first viewing. Quite exciting to check out these items that you didn't even know existed in the metadata of Skyrim. Now some of these items go straight to the inventory like a normal item. You can equip them normally. Some of them don't even go to the inventory. You have to equip them specifically by using console commands. Some of them don't even go to the inventory and they also are unequippable even even with console commands, so I'll try and show you those items and their stats with pictures and information rather than actual in-game footage. Now, first up for Skyrim's unobtainable clothing sets, we have the Executioner's set. So we have the Executioner's hood, boots, robes, and gloves. Now, I don't have the robes equipped here because I want to show you the boots. On a female character, the Executioner's boots look like little black shoes. The Executioner's gloves on a female character look like four sworn gloves. I'll try and get down in there without being too suspicious. As you may be able to see there, they are exactly the same skin as four sworn gloves. And now that we have the robes on, we can see that on a female character, the hood and the robes have the same skin as the shrouded set. But this, in fact, looks nothing like the Executioner's set. So we'll do a sex change on the character here. And this is what the set looks like. So a very creepy looking set. But as you can see, the gloves, robes, hood, and even the boots are completely different to what they look like on a female character. Next up for Skyrim's unobtainable clothing sets, we have the Greybeard set. Here we have the Greybeard robes, the Greybeard hood, and the Greybeard boots, which you probably can cannot see from here. And this is what the whole set looks like together. Next up we have the Moth Priest set and first up we have the Moth Priest robes which is too big for the screen for some reason. But this is what the robes look like. Next up we have the Moth Priest sandals which look like this and there is a Moth Priest blindfold which we are about to see with the whole set equipped. Okay the blindfold is not showing up but when it is equipped it looks like this. And for the next set, we have Nocturnal's robes and Nocturnal's hat. Now, this is easily the most promiscuous clothing set in Skyrim. Next up, we have the Sijig set. We have the Sijig boots, the Sijig gloves, the Sijig hood, and the Sijig robes. So let's see all of those equipped together, shall we? Here it is, the Sijig set. Quite a beautiful set. You'll see this in the, what is it, College of Winterhold quests? The equivalent of the Mages Guild quests in Skyrim. A very beautiful set. Very cool, actually. I do like this set. For the next set, we have the Reaper's set. We have the Reaper's hood and the Reaper's robes. Now, on a female character, it would look like the shrouded set that you would have seen if you watched my Skyrim unique clothing video whereas on a male character it looks like this the actual skin of the set this is what it looks like in game very cool set kind of creepy now there is a reaper's braces but they are a armor piece they are also unobtainable but you can click the link right over the item on screen and it'll take you to my Skyrim unique unobtainable armors and weapons video so if you want to check that out feel free to click the link there it'll skip straight to where I cover the braces for the next set we have Shiogorath's set we have Shiogorath's boots here and now we have Shiogorath's outfit which has a different skin in the inventory so altogether the set looks like this Shiogorath's beautiful boots there, and of course, Shiogorath's unmistakable and extremely unique clothes. Very, very cool looking set. And for the last Skyrim Unobtainable clothing set, we have the Telvanni set. Now the Telvanni robes, which you can see right here, are actually found in game, but this version has an enchantment that is double the strength of the Telvanni robes found in game. So here you can see it has a Magicka Regenerates 150% faster enchantment, whereas the ones in game have a 75% faster enchantment. So we have the Telvanni robes and the Telvanni shoes, which 
which increase shock resistance by 70 points. And these boots are not obtainable in game either. So together we have the Telvanni robes and the Telvanni boots. And it looks like this. It's a very nice set actually. It uh, does have a very uh, powerful Morrowind feel. <laughs> And next up, we have Skyrim's unobtainable clothing headpieces. And first up, we have the Ancient Falma Crown. Now, you may have heard a fair bit about this Ancient Falma Crown, and yes, it is in fact unobtainable. I do cover the rest of the set in my Skyrim Unique Light Armor set. You can click the link right here and skip to the part in the video where I'm talking about the Ancient Falma set. But apart from that, the Ancient Falma Crown looks like this, and it looks like that. Equip. Pretty cool crown. And although the rest of the set is in fact a Light Armor set, this piece is not an armor piece that makes it a piece of clothing. As you can see, it has no armor tag and it also has an armor rating of zero. And next up for Skyrim's unique standalone clothing headpieces, we have the Black Mage's Hood. These are usually found on like skeletal mages, things like that, and they look like this, equip on a normal character. All right, although this looks like a scene out of Pulp Fiction, this is in fact the Execution Hood, the white version, the black version can be found in game, but this, the white version is not found nor seen in game. So this is it. This is what it looks like in the inventory as well. Just basically a white sack. Next up for Skyrim's unobtainable clothing headpieces we have the head bandages now these can normally be seen on wounded soldiers within Skyrim and this is what they look like I like that it even gives you a little bloody ear there that's pretty cool and next up we have the leather hood now in the player's inventory the leather hood looks like this but when equipped it looks like Jesse Ventura or Riff Raff from the Rocky Horror Picture Show or Argus Filch from the Harry Potter series which isn't a particularly flattering look and next up we have Serana's hood and this is what Serana's hood looks like it actually looks quite puffy a bit puffier than a normal hood and lastly for Skyrim's unobtainable clothing standalone headpiece we have Ulfric's Gag. Now, I'm pretty sure if you have played Skyrim at all, you would have seen this because it is at the very beginning when you're in the cart with Ulfric's Stormcloak, he has the gag around his mouth. And this is what it looks like. And next up for Skyrim's unobtainable clothing items, we have arm bandages. Now, this is what the arm bandages look like. Bandages of the arms. They're quite tattered and ratted and tattery rattery covered in blood. Not very nice. Next up, we have focusing gloves. They do have a pretty cool and unique skin there. And equip, they look like this. Thirdly, and lastly, for Skyrim's unobtainable clothing hands or gloves, we have the prisoner's cuffs. And they look like this, a pair of brown gloves. And equip, they look like, oh, well, actually, in game, they have a different skin. They are actually cuffs when they are equipped on the player, but as you saw in the inventory, they look like a pair of leather gloves. <laughs> And now we're on to Skyrim's unobtainable standalone clothing chest pieces. And first up on this amazingly interesting list, we have the brown robes. And they look like this, a brown robes. And equip, they look like that. Next up, we have the college robes. These are uh, robes of the college. So equip on the player, they look like this. Very nice robe. Now this cultist robe may look identical and have exactly the same stats as the cultist robe found in game, but it has a different item ID. And the item ID that this particular cultist robes has is not used in game. So here it is, I'm showing it to you, the cultist robes with the ID that isn't used in game. Exactly the same in every other way. And it looks like that, same as the cultist robe. And next up we have the Dunma outfit. Now this is found in game and same as the cultist robe. This version with a particular item ID isn't used or found in game. So it looks the same. It has the same name and has the same stats and enchantment, but it's got a different ID and that ID happens to not be used in game. And it looks like this when equipped. Next up we have the embellished robes. They look like this and equip. They look like that. Quite interesting. Very nice though, They're very pretty. And next we have the embroidered garment. And it looks like this equip. Again, very nice. A very beautiful looking robe. Next we have fine raiment. Looks like that. And on the player, it looks quite fine. Next we have the grey robes. They look like that. A robe that is grey. Next we have the hooded brown robes. It looks like the brown robes, but hooded. Next we have the hooded green robes. Now these are a little bit different because they have that kind of, I don't know, lightning bolt, weird 
war paints, darker green pattern look on them. Just pretty cool. And they look like this when equipped on the player. Next we have the hooded grey robes, a grey robe that is hooded. And next we have one of the three mantled college robes. This is the dark green and gold version of the mantled college robes that look like this, equipped on your player. Now we have the mantled college robes with the, I don't know, blue and brown version. It looks like this equip on your player. And lastly, we have the mantled college robes with the brown and gold version of the skin. Which looks like this equip on your player. Next up, we have the novice robes, which look like this. And lastly, for Skyrim's unobtainable standalone clothing chest pieces, we have the refined tunic, which looks like this in your inventory and on your player looks like this. Again, a very nice and pretty piece of clothing. <laughs> Now, next up we have Skyrim's unobtainable necklaces slash amulets. And first up we have the Amulet of Bats. Now, this is actually found in game. I don't know if this enchantment's a little bit different, if it has a different value, a different skin, but it could be like the cultist robes and the Dunmer outfit, where it's exactly the same as the one in game, but this just has a different item code. And this particular item from this particular item code isn't used or found in game. If you want to be an absolute pro, you can check the link right here. It's where I cover it in my jewelry video and you can tell me. So while wearing this amulet, your night power while in vampire lord form will be bats. And that's the amulet of bats. Next up we have the amulet of drain magicka. While wearing this amulet, your drain life spell will drain a more magicka. Whatever an a magicka is. Next we have the amulet of draining grip. While wearing this amulet, your blood grip will gradually drain life from the victim. Next, we have Amulet of Mist Form. While wearing this amulet, your night power while in Vampire Lord Form will be Mist Form. Next up, we have Amulet of Supernatural Reflexes. While wearing this amulet, your night power while in Vampire Lord Form will be Supernatural Reflexes. Next, we have Amulet of the Elder Council. I think... I think, I don't know, I think that this amulet is worn by the Emperor when he visits Skyrim. If someone can confirm whether this necklace or not pops up in game, please let me know in the comments. And lastly, for Skyrim's unobtainable necklaces slash amulets, we have the Amulet of the Empath. While wearing this amulet, your knight power while in vampire lord form will be empath. Did I say that last one was the last item? Because I lied. We have the heart stone. I do believe this is used on General Curious Flax. He's found in the Dragonborn DLC. And I'll show you this on a male character, just so the boob is out of the way. There we go. And that's what it looks like on a male character. It looks like the king of the pimples. God of pus, pain and blood. The heart stone. <laughs> And now we have up Skyrim's unobtainable rings. And first up, we have Ring of Corpse Curse. While wearing this ring, your blood magic while in vampire lord form will be rigor mortis. Next up, we have Ring of Draining Claws. While wearing this ring, your blood magic while in vampire lord form will be reanimate corpse. Next up, we have Ring of Reanimate Corpse. While wearing this ring, your blood magic while in vampire lord form will be reanimate corpse. Deja vu. Next up, Ring of Vampiric Grip. While wearing this ring, your blood magic while in vampire lord form will be vampiric grip. Next up, fifth and lastly, and even very lastly for every item in this video, we have Ring of the Gargoyle. While wearing this ring, your blood magic while in vampire lord form will be conjure gargoyle. <laughs> And there we have it. I hope this video wasn't too weird or too choppy for you. I do apologize. Like I said before, half of the items don't even show up in the inventory. So some of them you can't even equip. But I'm sure you all saw something cool here. There's two more videos in this series. The links will be on screen when they are up and ready to watch. If you are interested in other Skyrim videos, I have a whole bunch of unique Skyrim videos, as you can see on screen. So feel free to click the links there. The links are also in the description if clicking a link on screen is just way too indie for 
for you. So, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. Don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know which items you loved and which items you hated. And, of course, which items you wish you bloody well could have obtained in the game of Skyrim. Don't forget to share this video amongst your family and friends and pets. And as always, if you did enjoy this video and you would like to see more videos similar to this one, please subscribe. It helps me know that people are interested in this type of video and ultimately will result in me making more of this type of video. So I would like to thank you sitting right there in your chair. I would like to thank you very much for watching this. I'm going to use the ring of Mistform now and let you click on one of these links because I know you bloody well want to. I will see you in the next video. I'll see you there. Len Stevens? Yes, Len Stevens, I see you.